Hi guys. Long time back, people used to walk. Then came the bicycle. People started paddling their way to different places. Then came the motorbike, then car, taxis, and now it might very well be the era of flying taxis. Have you heard of the term flying taxi? How interesting it would be if you have to fly from the center of Delhi to airport in a flying taxi. And what is eVTOL? We will try to explore all of this in our video. eVTOL, Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing. This is a technology which will help in flying taxis. And what is the current scenario in India? We all might have heard of the company Indigo Airlines. And this is owned by Interglobe Enterprises. Interglobe Enterprises and Archer Aviation, they have gotten into a memorandum of understanding to launch electric air service in India by 2026. So which all cities will have this? Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore. Archer Aviation and Interglobe Enterprises have entered into an agreement to provide 200 such air taxis in the cities of Delhi, Mumbai and Bangalore. So what is it that flying taxis can do for us? For example, you stand in Karnat Place in Delhi and you have to go to the airport, which is a distance of approximately 27 kilometers. It would take you just seven minutes in a flying taxi to reach from Karnat Place to the airport. And how is this possible? This is possible through eVTOL, which is electrical vertical takeoff and landing. This is a new technology in urban mobility because there is a space constraint. The flying taxis would be able to take off vertically and they will fly at a very low noise level at approximately 1500 feet and they will land at vertiports. Vertiports are the ports for these flying taxis to take off and land. So what are the global developments in urban air mobility? There are places, the, the cities who have kept the option of flying taxis in their radars. So these, uh, some of these cities are Dubai, Paris, Los Angeles and Delhi in India. So the global eVTOL market is set to grow at 23% compound annual growth rate to surpass 23 billion by 2028. This is as per Fortune Business Insights. Now if you look at this news, Dubai is set to host world's first flying taxi service with the air taxi startup Joby Aviation. So Joby Aviation is in pretty advanced stage in US. They have developed the flying taxi and they are uh, on the way to get permissions for operating flying taxis in US. But Joby Aviation expects to launch its flying taxi services in Dubai before anywhere else, including the startup's home turf in the US. So Hyundai says its electric air taxi business will take flight in 2028. They have revealed the version which is closer to the commercial version of its flying taxi. So looks like even Hyundai is all set to jump into the bandwagon of flying taxis. Now we will just try to have a look at the business aspect of different uh, airlines operator which are operating in India just to have an idea of what are the kind of uh, numbers uh, that they have on their balance sheet. So let us look at SpiceJet. SpiceJet, if you look at SpiceJet, uh, its sales numbers have been growing. The operating profit margin has gone down uh, from 20%. Though its sales numbers have been consistently increasing, the operating profit margin has gone down from 2016. It has gone down from 11% in 2016 to minus 3% in the trailing 12 month. So looks like this is kind of uh, a tough business to be in with very thin operating profit margin. Now let us look at Jet Airways. Jet Airways is a slightly different case. Here it has ceased operation in the year 2019 and uh, its sales were consistently declining and the operating profit margin, it was negative for most of the time and uh, the most positive one was 11% and uh, in the 2019, it reached minus 16%. Then in the year following that, it reached minus 461%. So now let us look at Interglobe Aviation Limited, which means Indigo Airlines. We will try to understand what are the numbers for uh, Indigo. So for Indigo Airlines, the, uh, the sales numbers have been consistently increasing. The operating profit margin was in 2013 was 9% and then it went up, down, uh, ranging from you know 4% to 20% and uh, in the year ending March 2024, it was 24%. So it looks like out of all these three airlines which analyze in India, only Indigo Airlines is able to have some kind of operating profit margin. And operating profit margin are very important because operating profit margin helps companies to stay afloat. So why do airlines keep on struggling? 
so there are four reasons why airlines are always struggling but there are uh, out of these four two are most important which we are going to discuss in this video so the number one reason for this is high fixed and variable costs as you know all the as you all know aircrafts are very expensive and a lot of finances are involved and most of these aircrafts are on lease so there is a fixed cost which is associated with this on top of that you also have a lot of uh, staff which is hired to, to take care of these aircrafts so it increases the overall cost and on top of that we also have variable cost which is fuel cost which also accounts to approximately 30 percent of the cost of operations for an airline also one more thing is that exogenous events can suddenly affect demand what it essentially means is that uh, for example during covid there was a total shutdown of uh, flights and airlines were the ones which had to suffer a lot also if there is some incident some event like a terrorist attack or some accident it immediately decreases the number of passengers who want to fly thereby leading to a lot of uncertainty in uh, revenue and the number of passengers these two are the major causes for an airline to be in losses and these two are very difficult to control we will try to explore if these two factors also apply in the flying taxi business though we might not have all the information but the information which we have is is uh, though it is an old one but it might give us an insight into what kind of business model is being followed for flying taxis so air asia to lease at least 100 flying taxis to launch air ride sharing services so this gives an idea that flying taxis might also follow the lease model the cost of flying taxis would be high and that's why they might be on lease and uh, the same two factors which were discussed for the airlines might come into play however uh, because uh, a lot of these taxis are electric uh, that's why they are called ev tall electric vertical takeoff and landing so they might not have that much dependency on the variability of fuel prices but the fixed cost as well as the cost of operations would still be there so once these flying taxis services roll out and the companies which are involved in this they roll out these services we will come to know how they are able to manage the business of flying taxis and like in the case of airlines because there are a lot of creditors who are involved and a lot of reputation is at stake it's very big it becomes very difficult to shut down an airline whether the same will be applicable for flying taxis or not we will find this out in future as the services roll out i hope you like this video and if you like please do like comment and subscribe thank you very much